Hi, this is Carl for Today in Tokyo. There is a meme going around on the internet. It's not actually a meme, right? A meme is something that carries a cultural practice sufficiently through generations to the effect that it acts like a marker on DNA. In other words, it affects the outcome of the longevity or some other aspect of the survivability of a species. But anyway, in the cultural sense, a meme is a photo and some pithy statement. And the one that I'm referring to is um, a photograph of a pair of traditional white men's underwear, and then below it, a cloth mask. Probably the example of the most ineffective cloth mask that you could think of to use during COVID. And the text says, this can't stop a fart over the underwear and then but this can stop COVID under the mask and this is the latest comedic attempt by the anti-mask people to suggest that masks are useless the argument on its face is ridiculous because it's all exaggeration everybody knows that the mask technically cannot stop a thread-the-needle occurrence wherein an aerosolized viral particle would go straight through one of the perforations in a mask. But no idiot is suggesting that who is suggesting that we wear masks. So, before I get into how stupid that is, I'll get into how evil it is. The people who perpetuate these memes are probably not idiots. They're mentally ill people who have some political agenda. And they have unresolved issues, just like the Flat Earthers, just like the Moon Hoaxers, just like the QAnon people. These are people who are so beholden to their attitude and their combative point of view that they will strain at gnats and swallow elephants to say that A is B and B is A and up is down and down is up. And this makes them immoral before stupid. Or they're immoral also because they are stupid. But let's go into the mask issue. You don't have to try to research for a long time if you go on the internet and you look for scientific and photographic analyses of experiments done with and without masks to realize that masks help. Okay? They're not an end-all, be-all panacea. They help. And they help a lot if you use them properly. I wear several masks. So if you have overlapping patterns of perforations in several masks, you increase the chance that a thread-the-needle occurrence will occur much less likely. That's common sense. You don't even have to do an experiment to realize that. What I usually like to say to people is, what is the first thing that a Western-educated person does, or Eastern-educated, but I see the contrary more often here than in the West, when one sneezes or coughs, the actual natural reaction is to cover one's face because that's how we've been raised. And we've been raised to do that because it's common sense to try to block some of the sputum which is firing out of the mouth at 100 miles per hour when one sneezes and coughs. But what you will find if you do research, and especially for video research of experiments done to see whether or not masks help or they don't, is that when two people are talking, often in front of a black screen with highly sensitive cameras and shown in black and white 
film or black and white resolution is that the gases that are coming out of a face that is not blocked by something are in a much higher concentration than those that are blocked. That's it. That's the whole argument. If you want to measure the number of moles of aerosolized viral and nuclear particles and you want to say that it's not enough to satisfy you, go ahead and say that, but you sound like a moron. The masks help. It's an obvious visual and measurable scientific fact. Now, most of the time when we're speaking and breathing, not in an excited fashion, we are breathing out globular clusters of molecules which are large and they can be stopped by the mask. Especially if you sneeze the sputum is larger in diameter or in its irregular globular shape than the perforations. It's only during deep breathing and heavy diaphragmatic action when someone is laughing, yelling, singing, or heavily exercising and drawing up gases from the bottom of the lungs with greater expelling pressure and vapor pressure that the aerosolized particles are the ones that people should worry about passing through in a thread the needle occurrence fashion the perforations in a mask but even in such a case if you wear several masks or just one mask you have a chance of having a low viral load expulsion especially if you're vaccinated and the anti-vaxxers tend to be the same people who are anti-mask, so you have a double problem there, that the particles might get caught by the mask. Even if the chance is only 10%, what fool would say, I will wear no mask? It just makes sense to try whatever you can. So the people who are going to the trouble to put out memes against masks and comparing them to underwear which by the way is ridiculous because let's get down to the facts not every fart is a wet one and when it is the liquid will be caught by the underwear right and that's what we're talking about sometimes with masks we're trying to catch the wet globular cluster expulsions from the lungs which are composed of sputum and other matter the people who want to argue about masks are likely the same people who want to argue about vaccines or ivermectin. They don't want to do anything because they're conspiratorial and it's too much of a bother to care about others to take a chance and err on the side of caution. And these people should hang their heads in shame if they've really thought about it. If they're unintelligent or uninformed, they should really think about it so they might avoid having to hang their heads in shame should they have the moral fiber to realize they should do so. Of course you should wear a mask and you should wear a shield because you care about other people and you don't want to take a chance. Living up to the margins in dangerous situations is foolishness. Spreading ideas that being careful is irresponsible and unkind and impolite and stupid. No one is saying that the masks are perfect. This is like everything else that conservatives do when they lie about something like climate change or cigarettes. They skew the argument in the direction of what might aid their argument instead of looking at the facts. The masks help. No, they're not perfect. Yes, they are responsible, especially if you wear several. And if you're really smart, you'll wear a shield in public places where there's high convection and multivarious vortices moving people's breath continuously on air currents, which don't carry the viral particles to the ground right away just because you wish them to.